Hi there everyone, welcome to Technoholic. In this video, we will talk about how one can quickly download, install and quickly get started with Obsidian. Obsidian, I would say, is one of ultimate note-taking tool that's gonna give you entirely different experience of note-taking. And we're gonna explore and explain what is so special within Obsidian. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, now here you can see my computer screen and I already have open browser. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to type obsidian and let's hit enter and there we go here we can see the obsidian website let's click on it and now um, here we will see that it is not only available for windows but also for ios android mac and linux as well so here as you can see i am currently using windows and then installation is pretty easy just simply you need to click on download and there we go here we can see the process of download has begun now after obsidian setup got downloaded let's double click on it and now here the installation process is straightforward just you need to click on next and there we go we have successfully installed it now let me click here on finish and then here we also have mentioned that to run obsidian or in case you forget to enable run obsidian then here we can press menu button and we can type obsidian now let's hit enter and this is how this note look like now what i'm gonna do here is i'm gonna actually um, delete these existing notes okay so first of all what you may require to do whenever you open obsidian is to create vault and since here you can see I already have created vault so I'm gonna go here in manage vault and then uh, probably in your case what you need to do is um, you need to click here on create and then here you need to give your vault a name for example I'm gonna say my personal notes okay now here we need to locate the folder so let me actually choose location here so I'm gonna say um, my personal notes and then now I have selected this folder and now we need to click here on create in this way guys we can get started here you can see the welcome message which says this is your new vault and then here it says make note of something create a link or try even importer now a vault you can consider is as a folder and now in that folder you can create several notes so let me click here on new note and now here let's say i would like to talk here about obsidian so i'm gonna create this new note as obsidian and then here i'm gonna say obsidian is an excellent platform to create notes with backlink and in this tutorial we're gonna see how we're going to utilize those capabilities full stop some of major competitors of obsidians are onenote evernote zoplane and so on okay so this is what we have written here and then obviously we can add um, necessary punctuation here now since i also have mentioned about onenote so probably um, let's say you know you would like to create a separate note related to one note so what we can do here is we can add these brackets and then um, you know after we click here on one note we will able to create another link note so here i'm gonna talk about one note one note is an excellent all around note taking app that gives you flexibility to create notes either handwritten or even you can create notes by typing you also have option to audio record and so on now this is what we have created now again here let's say i would like to talk about notes so i'm gonna again uh, keep this in bracket and then if i click here again now here i can talk about notes notes are very essential tool for human being full stop as they help them keeping necessary information that is very 
important in their life okay and then i'm gonna mention here obsidian is one of excellent platform to create notes and then here i have mentioned obsidian again i can actually again back linked it and in this way uh, here you can see i have created this notes about obsidian and now here if i click on obsidian here you can see i already have created a notes about obsidian not only you can create these kind of backlinking but you can also see it here so let me actually click here on graph view so here we can see how all these nodes are interconnected with each other so here you can see i started with obsidian and i mentioned one note in my obsidian note and then we also defined this general notes so in this way guys you can also see how these nodes are backlinked with each other now apart from that obsidian also support markup language for example let's say uh, i would like to add heading so here what i can do is i can write hash and then obsidian overview so this is simple markdown syntax which is supported by obsidian in the same way let's say you would like to highlight certain things you can again utilize this markdown tool um, here let's say I would like to highlight this obsidian so I can type these star around it and there we go here we can see we have highlighted this obsidian additionally to improve its functionality further to the next level what we can do is uh, we can install plugin the app has an entire ecosystem of community build plugin that let you customize it however you want for example, you can add a daily note plugin, Kanban boards, task managers, whatever you need to fit your workflow. To install a plugin, just we need to go here in settings and then go to community plugin. And then here we need to turn on community plugin and then let's click here on browse. And now here we can explore option. For example, I'm gonna go with this calendar one. So I'm gonna click here on calendar and then here you can see read and have an overview of it how we need to utilize it and then um, if I go on the top we can click on install and in this way guys we have installed this particular plugin in obsidian now here we can see we have successfully installed this calendar plugin in a similar way I also would like to install this taskbar plugin now after installing these plugins uh, we can actually close this and then here you can see the installed plugins will appear here and then um, you can enable it like this so that you can utilize them in your notes now let me go back here on notes and then um, here you will find a lot of different options to improve your experience for example reading view source mode uh, which will basically show you the original content and then um, let's go with reading view and then here we also have got this split view which is going to split your notes and then uh, on one side you can open one note another side you can open another note and you also have option to export your notes to pdf which is really nice i would say apart from that you can also sync your note or you can save your note on third-party cloud storage like dropbox or google drive now let's talk about one more interesting feature of this obsidian which is uh, creating canvas so in order to create canvas here on the left hand side we need to click on create new canva and then here what basically we can do is we can basically bring any notes here for that you can go down you can add card and then you can type inside anything uh, in this card for example my notes and then i'm gonna uh, connect this to something else for example uh, let me bring my notes here so this is obsidian one and now i can basically connect it like this okay and then um, probably i can also bring another note here for example welcome note and now um, in actual the welcome note is not actually connected to this obsidian but uh, here there would be some relation which i can mention in showcase it like this 
and then here we also have option to add media so as of now there's no media so that's why it is saying there's no recent file found um so this is another way i would say is creating mind map or doing a brainstorming so that's it for this quick walkthrough of obsidian we have covered how to get it installed set up your first vault and some of the core features like creating backlinks utilizing markup syntax graph view and how to play with canvas there is so much to explore but i hope that this gives you a solid foundation to start building your own productivity system i hope guys you find this video helpful and informational if so then make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more such tips and tricks to boost your productivity i have got plenty more videos on tool like obsidian windows productivity tips and making your digital life more efficient thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one till then you take care and bye bye